everyone. Welcome to Coosa Landing in Gadsden, Alabama, the fifth and final stop of the Alabama Bass Trail presented by Phoenix Boats North Division. Robbie Floyd with Kay Donaldson with the ABT and Kay. It's going to be a wet day. It is a wet day already, but we're expecting heavy thunderstorms in this final day of the North Championship. Everybody that we talked to was really excited about the rain. We've had a couple of weeks of really hot, dry weather here in Alabama, so they really needed that water temperature to cool down and for the power companies to move some water. So rain is expected, but also a tight battle at the top of the leaderboard. We've got five teams in the ABT North that are within 50 points of each other. You know, and that's an exciting race, and we've got some guys who have, um, you know, from Tennessee that are currently leading the points race with, a, I think, a 10-point lead. So that's going to be exciting, but there are five really strong teams in that top five. And with 225 boats taking off, there's a lot of movement that can hap happen throughout the day. They're going to catch them out there. Somebody's going to win $10,000. Let's find out who. Okay. So how was practice? Fair. Well, we just got one day of practice, and uh, we come, we put in over here on the backside of Ohatchee. We, we pulled out some of these points and caught some fish, caught some on the road bed. Uh, yesterday evening, kind of late. Where are your points? Uh, the one's right there. 79. Say, say ninth in points? Yeah, we, we need to have a good day today. Okay. You know, we've had a, uh, a good time fishing this trail this year. We've caught a limit every tournament. Uh, they just hadn't been the biggest, but two pounds makes a big difference on where you end up at the it end does. of the day. It really does. Yep. When we took off this morning, we decided to follow the current ang leaders in angler year points, Nolan Spencer and Jonathan Reese. And it was one mercury-powered Phoenix bass boat chasing another mercury-powered Phoenix bass boat this morning. They wasted no time getting down here. They're uh, in the back, back end of Canoe Creek, and they've just gotten started. Uh, they've got one fish in the boat, and uh, had, he said he had one big fish blow up, and he, did, and he missed it. So that's a good sign to start right off the bat and get some good bites. Duck. The way you do it when you get a bite on a frog and you've got heavy line there's no use in messing around get them to the boat as quick as you can well this morning we ran all the way to the dam chasing a uh, a couple of angle of the year boats and uh, we'll pull up on on this team fishing some main lake points off the dam uh, so they caught them here pretty decent in practice found a few fish they feel like the fish have probably moved back in this pocket a little bit this morning we've seen them catch one so I think they're pretty much just waiting on uh, waiting on some fish to show up. Uh, guy in the front throwing a crankbait, got a jig in the back. So a little bit of variety here this morning, and uh, with this rain and overcast, they should bite pretty well. Okay. Fish. This is the last tournament in the North Division for this year. Being angler of the year for Alabama Bass Trail is a big deal, and these guys seemed a little bit amped up this morning, so they're, they're getting bites. Hopefully they'll kind of settle down here, and maybe those nerves kind of go away and help the day go by a little bit better. Another fish on here. This one came off, but it came off in the boat, so that's a good thing. Alabama Bass Trail TV, presented by Phoenix Boats, is brought to you by Bill Penny Toyota, official truck of the Alabama Bass Trail, by TH Marine, improving your boat from transom to trolling motor, and by Jax, all about the South. There's more to come. Greg Hackney, 2014 Bassmaster Angler of the Year. Aaron Martins, 2013 and 2015 Bassmaster Angler of the Year. What else do these guys have in common? 
Phoenix Boats. The last three Bassmaster Angler of the Year titles were won out of Phoenix Boats. Coincidence? We think not. Phoenix Boats. Our passion for fishing is obvious. So our mission statement here at Bill Penny Motor Company is to enrich the lives of our employees and our customers and the communities we serve. And it really begins and ends with people. It started with that kind of philosophy with my granddad and went through my dad. Growing up around the business, I remember being just a kid washing cars and meeting these customers. Now I'm a grown adult and they get to buy vehicles from us and hopefully serve their next of kin for generations to come. For the whole story, visit us at BillPennyToyota.com where people always come first. What could 148,000 people possibly have in common? As different as each of the members of America's First are, they all like it when good things happen to them. Like when their savings earn a higher return than they can get with a bank, and when their loans and credit cards have lower rates. And they like taking care of business from wherever they are. Why not join us today? America's First Federal Credit Union. You sons of fishes. Ain't enough fish on this lake for two clubs. Really? Well, we see plenty of fish live with pan optics. Yep. Dang! We should get pan optics. Or maybe we'll just take yours. What's going on here? You boys have license? Yes, yes sir. sir. Nope. <laughs> there he is. Oh, I got him. On November 9th, the Alabama Bass Trail is coming with 500 of the best anglers. Competing for a $15,000 first place cash prize. Sponsored by Phoenix Boats and presented by TH Marie. Over $70,000 will be paid out to the top 50 teams. Entry fee is $300 and registration opens February 1st. Register at alabamabasstrail.org. 2017 was the year that saw Mitch Mitchell and Cantor McCollum be the second team in ABT history to win two events in the same year. That second event was right here at Neely Henry with a 16.64 pound limit, including a 572 big fish of the day. Who will win it today? We're about to find out. Robbie Floyd back here with you. This is it, the last stop of the North Division and the battle for Angler of the Year. The race is a tight one with Nolan Spencer and Jonathan Reese leading by just 10 points, followed closely by Patrick Hailstones and Michael Stevens Jr. Remember the top team in points received an additional $5,000 and pay no entry fee for next year. Let's go back out on the water and check with our on the water team and see how the guys are catching them. How's it going so far this morning? Not we got two small ones, man. All right. Well, are the conditions kind of what you expected or has anything changed from, from practice? I just think there's a window these fish are biting in. We hadn't hit it yet. Yeah. They caught a little slow for us, so we already put up a good one in the boat. Hey, you got one? Yeah, one good one. Hopefully we find four more to go with. How's it going so far? Ah, uh, we got one decent one and one little one. If I could catch one right here, you'd have you'd have some TV gold. We'll sit, there, we'll sit right here and wait then. I can't, I can't waste my time. I caught her yesterday as a 5'6". Yeah. I wore a while ago on gig, but mm. she's either on bed or garden fry. I can't get her to buy it. Got the one we wanted. But... <laughs> How y'all doing this morning? Good. Man, you good luck. We like to hear that. We're on our way out of Canoe Creek this morning and just pulled up on this boat. Right off the bat, he catches one. How many you got now? That makes two. Okay. First one was pretty good. All right. That was a, that was a spotted bass. First spot I caught down here all week. Really? 
Well, guys, tell me something good. Slow so far. How many you got? Got one. Okay. About three pounds. All right. You got a boatload yet? Not yet. We got about, we ain't got but three. We got about six pounds. Okay. We got a long day, though. Yeah. How many days did y'all spend up here practicing? Oh, we came Thursday for a little bit. We came, we stayed out here yesterday. Most, well, till, till the afternoon. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. We, we honestly thought we could catch a small limit here. We didn't start here, but we got down here and they just think my, they're not biting. We got some fish in the grass too, but like I said, we got green you into 4.30, so we thought we might come down here and catch 12 and a half, 13 pounds and go spend the rest of the day in the grass, but it ain't, it ain't they're not biting like we thought. Yeah. Well, folks, here we are, kind of a mid-morning update, and we've run into probably five or six teams so far today, and the word of the day is? They're quite a little slow for it. They're a little slow. Slow so far. Slow. So let's send it over to Kenneth and find out what his word of the day is. Chris, what we've seen today, the key word, misses. We followed the guys that were leading Angler of the Year this morning. They got an area, they got some bites on top water but the key bites that they really need were all misses. Either the strike, they missed a strike, or they had them on for a brief moment and the fish got off. Hopefully they'll correct that and make, make it for a better afternoon. This portion of the program is sponsored in part by Sweet Home Alabama, by Garmin, and by Academy Sports and Outdoors. Alabama Bass Trail TV, presented by Phoenix Boats, will be right back. The taste of the South starts out here. However you roll into work, you can bring the flavor with Jack's Breakfast Catering. Huge scratch-made buttermilk biscuits and hearty breakfast sandwiches, mixed or matched, starting at just $15. Don't forget to add delicious fresh ground royal cup coffee and classic breakfast sides. Because great work starts with great breakfast. Breakfast Catering, starting at $15 from Jack's. All about the South. Greg Hackney. 2014 Bassmaster Angler of the Year. Aaron Martins, 2013 and 2015 Bassmaster Angler of the Year. What else do these guys have in common? Phoenix Boats. The last three Bassmaster Angler of the Year titles were won out of Phoenix Boats. Coincidence? We think not. Phoenix Boats. Our passion for fishing is obvious. Good morning, Ben. Been a little slow. Jumped about a three pounder off first thing this morning. Okay. Just caught a piece. How many you got right now? I think I but one. Just one? You got a boatload yet? We got five, nothing big. Okay. Well, that's good. How about that? Here we go, look at that. On oh, cue. Guys, how's your morning been? Not real good. Been a little slow. Been slow. How many you got? Four. We started out fishing grass, and the grass spot didn't just seem to be there today. How are y'all in points? 23rd. OK. So a limit goes a long way today. Yeah, we try, we're going to try to catch a limit, then we'll go back to the grass and start getting bigger. 
Gotcha. We had a couple of good ones to hit this morning, but it seemed like they were kind of short striking. And we really wasn't hooking them good. Gotcha. That's not what you want to see. No. No. Not at all. How's your day going so far? Uh, it started off pretty good, then it slowed down in, in the last, what, 30 minutes? Last 30 minutes, we caught one about three and a half, about another three. Okay, well, that's good. You're going in the right direction. Yeah. Keep, keep up, Greg. Keep going right. up. Kenneth, here we are back at the ramp. A soggy, nasty, wet day. I'm still wet, you're still wet, yes. even though we had rain gear on, still wet. What did you see following the AOI leaders this morning? Well, we kind of got in right behind them when they took off. They ran a good ways down the lake, went in the far back end of Canoe Creek. They got in there and right off the bat, they had some bites. Uh, he lost, lost a good one pretty early. Then a little bit later on, he lost two more pretty good ones. Ooh. They caught some fish, got them in the boat, but they're better ones they missed. Either they, they just missed the strike or they had them hooked for a second and came off. Okay. So it looked to me like maybe the fact that they came into this tournament angler of the year, may have, the nerves may have gotten to them. Sure. They seemed a little amped up this morning. Fishing a frog, sometimes you kind of have to slow down and relax. Let them take that bite a little bit longer before you set the hook. So sure. That may or may not have, have had something to do with it. Well, we sent you a text earlier. You said your word of the day was miss. My word of the day was slow. Everywhere we, we went, everybody we talked to, it was slow. It's going to be a grind. A lot of folks waiting on an 11 o'clock hour, but on the early afternoon. Uh, but more rain came, more rain still coming. Right. A little patch of blue sky, which I think is fake, but um, it, it's one of those deals. But one thing's for sure, somebody's going to win 10 grand. Yes. And somebody's going to be crowned Angler of the Year champion right there after this break. This portion of Alabama Bass Trail TV presented by Phoenix Boats is brought to you by Bill Penny Toyota, Sweet Home Alabama, and by America's First Federal Credit Union. Stay with us, there's more to come. The TH Marine Hydrowave H2 KVD Edition is a surefire way to ignite a feeding frenzy. The Hydrowave utilizes a sound emitting technology that imitates bait fish, and other feeding fish below the surface that preys on the competitive nature of bass and other game fish to get you more bites. The Hydra Wave is another way that TH Marine has you covered from transom to trolling motor. Greg Hackney, 2014 Bassmaster Angler of the Year. Aaron Martins, 2013 and 2015 Bassmaster Angler of the Year. What else do these guys have in common? Phoenix Boats. The last three Bassmaster Angler of the Year titles were won out of Phoenix Boats. Coincidence? We think not. Phoenix Boats. Our passion for fishing is obvious. Some things ain't worth keeping. Yesterday's traditions, today's adventures, tomorrow's memories. Now that's something worth keeping. Fish Alabama and find your keeper. For more information, visit fishalabama.org. It's time to take a road trip. Alabama's got a hundred road trips, and some of the best are outdoors, like a trip to Lake Gunnersville. First stop on the Alabama Bass Trail. Catch anything? Nice. Or head to the Robert Trent Jones Golf Trail. 468 holes of golf heaven. What's the time say? Best public golf on the planet. Alabama's got a hundred road trips. Plan yours at alabama.travel. Which one you gonna take? You ever wish you weren't a motor? Sure. 
Sometimes I wish I had legs like you. Yeah, is it like a regular person? No. Still have bike half man. Just the opposite. What's the legs on the bottom and motorcycle on the top? Yeah. Yeah, I can see that. For those who were born to ride, there's progressive. Two hundred twenty-five boats left this morning from Coosa Landing. The first flight checked in nine minutes ago, so we've got a line of characters. Let's bring on our first pair: Mason Smith, Ricky Parplowitz, boat number fifty-four. You wanted to get this over with, huh? Man, I had to had to leave it at some point this year. That's the only way I could do it. Hey, it, it, you're going to be our leader. First boat to weigh in. Let's find out. They got four bass. Boat 54, 803. Just a, t a struggle today, huh? It was, man. It was rough. Rough, rough and slow. And Jonathan Nixon, Kyle Lawson. Let's find out what boat 25 has. What were y'all doing today? Jigging around boat docks. Jigging. I've already had two people. Then both were jigging. I saw somebody pull up a boat a minute ago. I think they had like a swim jig on there. They had a frog and a Carolina rig. So they were all over the place. But you stuck with the jig? We stuck with it around docks all day long. And it looks like it paid off with 1440. Hey, you get to grab a couple of the bass. 1311 is going to move you into second place to get your picture taken. How, how was it? Was it it wasn't picture perfect conditions out there today, was it? Well, for what we were doing, it was perfect conditions, but I knew we were going to catch them today. We caught them too good the last two days. We were just covering water. You won practice? Pretty much. I hear you got a big one in there and you got five bass. You happy with your day now that it's done? Oh, yeah. Very happy. Oh, yeah. Let's find out what it's going to take to win here. It's going to take at least 20 pounds, 20.29. Well, we just started off shallow and swimming the jig and pretty much stayed with that all day. We didn't really have to change anything. I hear you weighing a big fish. That, that's a good thing. Yeah, it was a great way to start the morning. 1993, so close. Almost a quarter pound difference. I mean, literally, that's one sh couple of shad now making the difference. You got one in there that's about five pounds? Yeah, we have two that are over five. Two, th two that are over five, they're thinking. Yes, they are guessing. It's a fact. 6.52 pounds. That is a toad here on Neely Henry. Great job. We knew it was going to be a grind, or at least we thought it was going to be. And we said there's only one way to know how to catch them. And we just put our head down, and we flipped a big <laughs> half-ounce jig all day. Come on over here, our Wise Lake winners, Chad and Ryan Hall. I hear you You got a good one in there, too? No, uh, just solid fish. <laughs> solid. Five solid ones might win this thing. Five not perfect bass might win this thing. Hey, I want to know what solid is because Chad Hall and Ryan Hall have just taken the lead with 20.80 pounds. Uh, we what? found a little place yesterday. had a few fish in it, so we started there this morning and uh, caught a few. They are just, you know, one here, one there kind of thing. Our Angle of the Year points leaders, how will they do today? Boat number 90, you had a 10-point advantage over Patrick Hailstones and Michael Stevens, Jr. We've already had fifth place post 16-19. You're trying to tread water right around that mark, and you did more than that. 1540 for Spencer and Reese. We got the bites. It wasn't a problem. I mean, uh, we lost two right off the bat that had for just a second, have no clue how big they were, but um, we caught a limit real fast, and then I guess y'all saw us kept lose one, I'm guessing between four and five, it's probably on camera, um, and from there, it only got worse. Uh, I lost one that I know, I mean, we seen it, it was close to the boat that was, if it wasn't six pounds, you know, it, something was wrong, but, you know, I would have loved to have uh, just got one of them fish in, because I, I mean, I really- it may have been the difference. One, one of them fish is gonna be really hard, but we said coming into this, that uh, if we caught 15 pounds in Los Angeles of the year, we couldn't be a disappointed, so. I have not seen Lee Pitts win on the Alabama Bass Trail, except for alabamabasstrail.org. You see why he's clapping? To take the lead, you need 2080. Lee Pitts, Steve Engel, 2202 taking the lead. Hey, show me the arm. Lee the arm, but show it, but, but, but give you, look at that. You know, we've had a great day. Um, luckily, the weather played right into our game plan. You know, we stayed up shallow. Uh, we flipped, I flipped a talon jig with a Jean LaRue biffle bug on the back of it all day long. Um, backed out a couple of times when the sun popped out, went deep, caught fish, but it wasn't helping us. So we just stayed up tight and stayed on wood covering grass all day.
Well, I guess this body of water didn't disappoint. I expected big waves. I don't know that I expected this big a waves. I know I certainly did, but all week long, the guys were telling us that they were catching them, and that they did. Uh, guys, congratulations on the victory, and that heads you into the championship in a couple of months, but with the rain just pouring down, do you think that was a factor at all today? Do you think it might have turned them on a little bit? You know, it did. I mean, we could really tell the, the worse the weather got, the better that the fish, you know, they, they, uh, they ate better. We caught a lot of fish, and the bigger fish really, really turned on when that rain was coming out. Congratulations on the victory, uh, the second time winning here at Neely Henry. And now Nolan Spencer, Jonathan Reese, come on in here. Our Anglers of the Year for the North does feel good, doesn't it? Yeah, it, it really does feel good. Um, we had a great year. Can't complain about any of it. Uh, wouldn't do anything any different. And it's, uh, I don't know, we, we never would have dreamed, I guess, that we would be in this position, but we're, we're definitely happy we are. Congratulations, our new anglers of the year here, Kay. As we head down to the south, it is yet to be decided. Although we've got a front runner, things are still yet decided in the south. You know, I know these guys are probably sweating it when you have Chris Rutland and Kobe Carden that are leading in the south, and they've had such a strong year. You always sweat it out a little bit, but, you know, these are strong competitors. They've had a fantastic year. I take nothing away from what they have achieved here on the Alabama Bass Trail. It's a little odd to have someone from Tennessee take home the AOI championship for the Alabama Bass Trail, but I like it. These are great guys, and I'm so glad that they've chosen to fish with Alabama Bass Trail. Some of the best from around the country. That's it for the North. These two guys are your anglers of the year. Will they be the overall angler of the year? That'll be determined. Next time, Lake Eufaula, the final stop at the Alabama Bass Trail, presented by Phoenix Boats.